Hi everyone! Here is the complete tutorial from beginning to end for me creating a crochet emoji ball. We're going to go from the very beginning when you make a magic circle to an amigurumi close and everything in between. These are the materials you'll need. You'll need your yarn, the corresponding crochet hook, obviously. You'll need a stitch marker. You'll need your pattern. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need yarn and embroidery thread for uh, embroidering your face. You will need safety eyes, unless you embroider them, um, along with the backs. And you will need a tapestry needle, as well as some polyfill. Okay, for round one, we have six single crochet in a magic circle. This can be the trickiest part, is creating the magic circle. First, you're going to wrap your yarn twice around your pinky. Bring it up through over the back of your hand, like that. And then you're going to kind of drape it in a P shape over the palm of your hand, like that. See the P? And hold it in place where the peak meets with your thumb so that it stays in place. You'll take your crochet hook, put it through the loop, grab the yarn from across the back of your hand, pull up a loop, hold that in place while you get a better grip there, making sure you're holding down all three parts of the yarn. Yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. This essentially is a chain one and it holds everything in place so you can adjust your grip if need be. Next, we're going to do six single crochet. So we're going to enter the loop, pull up of the yarn from a yarn over, yarn over again, and pull through two loops. Oops, I lost my loop there. Pull through two loops to complete the single crochet. You'll see the V. Again, in through the loop, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the two loops. Get some more yarn loose there. In through the circle, pull up a hoop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You should now see three V's. In through the circle, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Two more times. In through the circle, pull up a loop. Yarn over, Pull through two loops. One more time, we have five now. In through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we get to do the magic part. We pull on our tail and it should tighten our yarn up into a circle with our six single crochet stitches visible. Okay, for round two, we've completed our single cro our magic circle. So round two, we're going to do two single crochet into each stitch for a total of 12 stitches. At this point is when we're going to need to add our stitch marker after we complete our first stitch. So this is an increase all the way around. So you're going to find your first stitch, find that first V, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through under the V, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. And here's where we're going to insert our stitch marker in that very first stitch that we just created so that we know when we've gone all the way around to help us count. And now we're going to insert another stitch in the same spot. So we're going to find where we just were. And you can always see that by tugging on your loop a bit. Insert our hook under the V, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have two stitches in one original. So next stitch also gets two single crochet stitches. Under the V, you can kind of see it there. It's a little hard to see sometimes when you're first starting. Yarn over, pull up that loop, 
yarn over, pull through two loops. Same thing, one more single crochet in the same stitch. Yarn, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. We're going to continue doing this all the way around. We now have four stitches. Each stitch is going to get two new single crochets. So insert my hook under the V, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. One more time, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Halfway done, new stitch, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. <clears throat> Insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, I should have eight stitches now. Next stitch, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Same spot, one more single crochet. All right, I should have ten, and so now two more in this, of this last stitch. There's one and two. So if I count, I should have 12 stitches. Let's count together, starting from the stitch marker all the way around, and I have 12. All right, we've just completed round two. So now we're going to work on round three. The pattern is one single crochet followed by an increase. And we're going to complete that six times. Now an increase is when we put two stitches in the same spot. So we're going to start with just a single crochet. I'm going to work around my stitch marker here and then move it. So we're going to put one single crochet in the same stitch that has our stitch marker. And now that I've created that, I can move my stitch marker to the new stitch I just made so that we know when we've completed this round when we come back to it. Pull out my loop there. Insert my stitch marker. There, see. And put my hook back in, tighten up. Okay, so our second thing is going to be an increase, which is when we put two stitches in the same spot. So we were going to do one single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch. And now we repeat our pattern. So this is one single crochet in the next stitch followed by an increase. <clears throat> so two stitches into the fourth one. So we've got one two, and repeat our pattern again. So one single crochet, followed by an increase. So every other stitch is going to be an increase. So now we've got one single crochet and an increase. One single crochet. And you may need to um, count if you lose track. You can always count from where your stitch marker is by counting one single crochet increase and around till you find out where you're going. Or you can count how many stitches you, you have already created or you can look into your the side of your work and see how many stitches are already in this the pattern there. So here we know we left at one single crochet. The next is an increase. That's what you do if you lose track. So that happens sometimes. All right, two more stitches to complete the pattern. This one is a single and then an increase. When you have a repetition, the pattern will tell you if it does not 
complete the repetition all the way around, if there's any exceptions to the rule. And that is round three. We should have 18 stitches now. 18. Just right. 18. Okay, ready for round four. We've completed our magic circle, our increase with round two, and uh, we just completed round three. So now we're going to do round four, which the pattern calls for two single crochet and then one increase six times. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker as I'm going to do one single crochet. Add my stitch marker back in so that I know when I've completed my round. And then the pattern also calls for another single crochet in the next stitch. Now in the third stitch is my increase. So we've completed two singles and now an increase. So there's two stitches in the same spot, two single crochets in the same spot. So now we've got single crochet, single crochet, and an increase. If you have trouble remembering where you are in the pattern, one thing I like to count in my head is by counting one, then two, and I think of an increase as A and B because they go into the same stitch. So then I go A and B. Or you can just count one, two, and increase. It's up to you. One, two, and an increase. One, two, and an increase. Continuing on, two, and then the last stitch is uh, an increase. So two in this last stitch. And this should leave me with 24 all the way around. So if we count, oops, dropped one. So you should always pull up plenty of room in case you pull on your stitches too much. So give yourself plenty of slack there. There you go. So I should have 24 all the way around. Counting my V's just right. And now we've completed round four. All right, round five is going to be three single crochet and an increase six times around. Hopefully you're beginning to see the pattern here. I'm going to insert my hook, tighten up my loop. All right, go ahead and move my stitch marker after my first stitch here. Got one single crochet. Get my stitch marker back in there. Two more single crochet in the next two stitches. There's two, and then three for a total, three. And now my increase. So I've got one, two, three, and an increase. Repeat that again. One, two, three, and now my increase. There we go. And repeat the pattern again. One, two, 
three, and increase. Or if you want to try the other way I count, it's one, two, three, and then increase stitches are A and B. So then I would think A and B. It's up to you, whatever works for you to help you keep track. One, two, three, increase, last repetition, one, two, three, four stitches to go, one, two, three, and, oops, stitch marker getting in the way, and we end with our increase. And that is round five, and that is the last time we will be increasing for this project. We should have 30 stitches all the way around. Okay, round six through ten is one single crochet in each stitch around. So these next five rounds are all going to be the same. So we're going to do one round together, and then I'll let you complete the other rounds on your own and then so that this video doesn't take forever. Um, so we're going to start with our first stitch. We'll move our stitch marker. And you'll see your, your project will start curving. So put our stitch marker back in. And now I'm just going to complete one single crochet in each stitch around. As you work, as I mentioned, your, your project um, is getting bigger. We're not really increasing, but it is getting bigger because we're adding yarn to it. Um, and uh, you'll want to start kind of shaping it with your hand as you move it around. This, for some reason, this yarn wants to curve the opposite direction I want it to go. <laughs> so I'm going to continue working on it, kind of shaping it as I move it around. I want my tail from my magic circle to be on the inside. So as you can see, it's curving opposite the way I want it to be. So I'm going to just kind of periodically stop and kind of shape it with my fingers so that I keep my tail on the inside of my project. It'll get easier as you continue on and add to it. So just continuing my single crochet. Oop, dropped one. Continuing my single crochet all the way around, one in each stitch. This is giving us the body of our circle, the, the, the big wide flat part. So if you have more than 30 stitches, you've increased and you should not when you uh, count at the end of this round. You should still have 30 stitches at the end of each round in rounds 6 through 10. Because we are not increasing anymore. Just my yarn here. So as you complete this round, if you lose track, you might want to make some hash marks so that you know how many rounds you've completed. There we go. And that is round six. And I'm going to make a little hash mark here just showing how many of these rounds I'm completing as I go along. I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. All right, I'm finishing up round 10. You can see I have a much more defined 
bowl shape at this point. Hopefully you've not had any problems. Still doing just a single crochet in each stitch for a total of 30 stitches per round. There's the last one there. And you can see that, right? So I'm going to pull this out. And I want to show you, if you lose track, how you can count. You can count from the center out each row till you see 10. And that way you know how many rows you've completed if for some reason you lose track of your count there. All right, next up is round 11. We're going to do our first decrease. So we're going to do three single crochet followed by a decrease. All right, we've completed round six through 10 there. Put my, reinsert my hook. The beginning is just the same as other beginnings. We're going to start with three single crochet. Here's one. Insert my stitch marker so I don't lose my spot. Two and three. Okay, now we're up to our first decrease. Now for a decrease, we're going to work in the center of the V. We're going to insert our hook and kind of pull up the back corner uh, loop of the V. Yarn over the next two stitches and we're going to pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops. So we're joining two stitches together. I'll repeat this again so you can see. We first got to do our three single crochets and then we're combining the next two stitches together. So we're going to insert our hook into the back loop of the next two V's, like that, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And that combines two stitches into one. Let's repeat it again. So three single crochet, one, two, three, and now a decrease. Insert my hook into the first two in the V's of the next two stitches, pulling up the back loops and yarning over, and then yarning over again. Let's repeat that one more time. Yarn over through our first three single crochet stitches. Okay. I'm going to insert my hook into the middle of the V's of the next two stitches, pulling up the back loop, yarn over, pull through those first two stitches, yarn over, pull through the last two loops, sorry, not stitches. Okay. Three more single crochet. Insert my hook into the middle of the V's. Yarn over, pull through those two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more. Okay. Three more single crochet. And now I'm down to two stitches left to combine together. So I'm going to insert my hook into the V's, pulling up that back loop. Yarn over, pull through those first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And you can see I'm starting to tighten up my circle. It's getting a little bit more narrow. We should be down to, I think, 24 stitches. And you count around. Okay, now we've done our first round with decreasing. So we finished round 11 on to round 12. We're gonna do two single crochet and then it decrease six times around so we end up with 18 stitches. So I'm going to start with my first single crochet, put my stitch marker back in, a second single crochet, and then a decrease. So remember to insert your hook in the middle of the V's of the next two stitches, 
yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Now repeat the pattern again, two single crochet. And a decrease. This type of decrease is kind of invisible from the side, so it's good for amigurumi. You may have to twist your hook a little bit to make it go through smoothly. That's okay, whatever you need to do. Two single crochet and a decrease. So I'm going to insert my hook, next two stitches, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Two single crochet. And a decrease. Insert my hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. That one's twisty. There we go. Sometimes it's just easier to rotate your hook, uh, especially on a decrease so that you don't drop the loop. All right. Another decrease. And sometimes it just pulls through smoothly. Depends on your grip sometimes, I think. Two single crochet. And the last decrease. The last two stitches. Yarn over, pull through those two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Should be down to 18 stitches now. Okay, we've completed round 12. Now normally I wouldn't stuff um, and, and do my embroidery and stuff like that until the, after the next round, but in order to make it a little bit easier to see in the video, I'm going to go ahead and insert my safety eyes and embroider my face. So if you are giving this to a very small child, um, embroider the eyes rather than use plastic. But I'm going to count and see where I want my safety eyes to go, whether I want this to be my top or my bottom. So I'm going to count about six rows down. Once I like where my eyes are placed, I'm going to go ahead and insert the back. Now the wide flat area goes on the outside, and then you push that down until it clicks all the way down. One. Let's see, make sure my eyes are even. I can rotate them, but I can't move them once they've been locked in place. There's the other back. Here we go. There's my eyes. And now I'm going to go ahead and embroider my mouth. So for that, I'm going to get my black yarn and my tapestry needle. And I'm going to go ahead and thread my needle. And I'm going to show you how to secure it with a knot in the back, but you don't have to do it this way. A little more slack here. So I'm going to come in uh, out from the inside. Decide where I want my mouth to start. I'm going to pull most of the way through, but not all the way. I'm going to leave a tail on the inside and then go back in. Oops, start to poke through. Shouldn't go that far in. And then pull that tight, but not too tight so that it puckers. All right, that's the outside. And on the inside, you can see I've got two tails that I can now tie into a loose knot that will keep my mouth in place and secure. And I'm just doing a loose knot. I'm not pulling too tight because it'll pucker otherwise. And then I can trim off my tails. See? And I'm going to do the same thing with embroidery thread or embroidery floss for the cheeks. 
Now I can use pink yarn for the cheeks. Um, I just happen to have some pink floss on hand and no, no pink yarn. <laughs> so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the cheeks on either side. With amigurumi, I mean, with emoji, they tend to be right, cheeks tend to be placed right under the eyes. I'm going to make mine a little slanted. And remember to leave a tail on the inside so that I can knot it. This is gonna, I'm gonna slant this up a little bit. It comes through. Pull up the slack. Once I like how it's positioned, I can go ahead and tie a knot. And then again, making sure it's not yanked too tight. Otherwise, it'll pucker, and then you won't be able to see the, the cheeks. <clears throat> like that. Trim off the end. And repeat on the other side. I always have trouble making sure that my embroidery faces are symmetrical, but all that matters is how you like it. Remember to leave a tail. So if you want to make a frowny face or a happy face, it's all up to you. You don't have to have cheeks. <laughs> Again, I would say if you were giving this to a very young child, I would embroider the eyes and not use the plastic ones, just because they can be a choking hazard if they do manage to pull them out. Tie my knot. Oh, too much yarn in the way. There we go. Trim that off. And all those little tails and bits are hidden on the inside. And we're good there. At this point, if you want to, you can um, tie the tail from your magic circle into a knot. You can tighten it a little bit. And then just do a little slip knot there. Way that doesn't come undone and trim that off and there you have your face and that part is done all right we're almost to the end round 13 we're going to do one single crochet followed by a decrease six times around so I'm Get my stitch marker out of here. Single crochet. Get my stitch marker back in. The pattern is just going to be alternating a single crochet and a decrease. So here's my decrease. Connecting these two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two. Ugh, doesn't want to pull through. There we go. And then yarn over, pull through two. Single crochet. And a decrease. Wiggle my hook this time. Single crochet. And a decrease. pull through two single crochet 
and a decrease. Single crochet and a decrease. I find as I work um, decreasing in size, sometimes my stitches get a little tight and hard to get through and you may need to wiggle your hook around a bit to insert it the first time. Just try to relax and keep those stitches loose. One more decrease. Pull that through, come on. There we go. Yarn over, pull through two. All right, we should be down to 12 stitches. And we've already done the face because it's it was small and I wanted to make sure you could see it on the camera. But now it's time to stuff. So little trick to stuffing amigurumi is to Break off the polyfill into small chunks and then slowly add it. You don't want to overstuff um, so that it's like pushing through the seams. So adding a little bit at a time will help give you more control over how much stuffing you have in your amigurumi. And you can layer it. That also allows you more flexibility with the tapestry needle later. You want to make sure it's stuffed enough so that you don't feel like the backs of the safety eyes, but you also don't want it sticking out, bulging out through the stitches. So there's our eyes. It's not too, I can, can't feel the squishy. When I squish it, I can't feel the hard part and it's not exploding out either. So just a little bit more should be just right. go. That feels about right. Okay, our final steps. We have uh, just a few more things to do. We need to decrease one more round, round 14. We're going to decrease all the way around this time. So no single crochet. Insert my hook. These next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Add my stitch marker in so that I don't lose track. Five more times. Decrease. Another decrease. Don't worry if your stitches look a little stretched at this point. It'll um, go back to normal looking when uh, we're done. There we go. Pull through two. Another decrease. If you need to, you can kind of push down the polyfill and then squish it back up later once it's closed. So we're going down to six stitches here, so it gets a little bit of a tight squeeze. One more. Pull through two. So you can see it's already closed quite a bit. All right. So we finished round 14. Yay! Okay. So at this point, I'm going to take out my stitch marker. I'm done with it. And I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. That's just going under the V, yarning over and pulling through the V and the stitch that's on your hook. All right, that just helps give it a little more smooth appearance. And because I get paranoid, um, I'm going to trim a long tail off here because I want to make sure I have plenty of room to close. And I'm going to just do a little knot pulling through there just to make sure that it doesn't come undone on me. 
then I could take my hook out and thread my yarn through my tapestry needle. Now this next thing is called the amigurumi close and it's super easy. You are going to insert your needle through the loop of the, the outside loop of the V, come up and just pull your yarn through. So into the V, from the bottom, pull up and through. And each stitch around. And as you pull it through, it should get a little more tightly closed as you go work your way around. And there you go. Okay, one more. Adjust my tension there. Now, if you want to, you can um, thread your yarn under a couple of the stitches there to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And then if you don't want the end sticking out there, you can insert your tapestry needle through the middle and then in through your project, pulling it all the way through, and that should flatten it out nice and, and even so that the bottom looks like the top. Just come out any place in your work and trim off your yarn and it should disappear right back into your ball. And then you're done! I hope you enjoy making an emo amigurumi emoji.